Hey, it's your girl Erin Rain right here. It's all about Jam TV. Of course, you know we're bringing it back and just really getting in touch with all the local artists, seeing how they've been doing during the period of COVID, because I know COVID has definitely been tough. So right now, I got in studio with me. I have the International Soka Award winner and Hollywood Music and Media Award winning Soka artist, Wendy. Hey, but you know I'm proud Oh, of you I, did I, it. I can't, I can't No, it, you did it. I wanted to try. Yeah. <laughs> I love that when people see me, they want to sing that. Yeah. You know, and like, you know, I could just jump right into it. That was mm -hmm. very deliberate on my part. I remember when I did Jams TV the first time many years ago, mm -hmm. right in the same room, I had on a brown and black tube top and I had a little short wig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. And I remember one of the things I said was that I want people to know my name. Yeah. So that's why whenever I do any song, I say, it's Wendy, what you know about it? So now people see me and then they say, it's Wendy. Wendy. I'm like, no, I'm Wendy. Who <laughs> <What> are you? <laughs> so, yeah, you just want to say the whole line. You want to take the whole line for me. Yeah. yeah. That's our song now. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> All right. So what's been, what's been up with you? How have you been? Doing sense because well, I haven't seen you for a while. I saw you at the pageant, Miss Team Bahamas. Yes, 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 yes. I know I brought to you there, but I mean, like, just like during the whole time of COVID since 2020. Yeah. Up until now. Well, let's see. 20, so, okay, 2019, I took on new management mm -hmm. and I had some new music that I was all set to promote in 2020, one of them being walk out mm -hmm. um and then you know we had hurricane dorian in september of 2019 that put a big damper on things as well um and then we had the pandemic hit in march of 2020 mm -hmm. so since then i have just been trying to figure out how to pivot as an artist i was all set to really take over the region i would say i had all my ducks in a row i had my singles lined up i had my marketing plans and everything but mm -hmm. of course the pandemic was like screw you girl yeah you ain't going nowhere, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> um but i pivoted my, my team and i we did lots and lots of virtual interviews so i was actually able to speak and talk, talk to people from all across the world who i may not have even been able to talk to had it not yes. been for the pandemic you know a lot of people were home and wanting to do stuff everyone turned to the content creators everyone turned yes. to the youtube and the instagram so there was mm -hmm. lots of interviews that happened so that's really what i did in 2020 i was also fortunate enough to be able to do some virtual performances mm -hmm. you know not a lot of them happened here but i was able to do quite a few and i'm really happy about that um mm -hmm. i was pushing man i still was pushing walk busy. out i stayed busy and even if even if i wasn't busy i created Right. Mm -hmm. I created those spaces for myself. And that's something yeah. I that I did early mm -hmm. on in my artistry. Like if there was not a show, I created a show. If mm -hmm. no one was giving me a platform, I created a platform yeah. because you have to showcase your music and nobody owes you nothing. No. So that's what I did in twenty twenty. Nobody I'm happy owes you said nothing. That. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because really it's for you to push yourself. More. Yes. Since if you want it. Yep. And you got to put in the work to go ahead and Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. So now Absolutely. you mentioned the virtual performances. So I know just recently you performed Adam MD's celebration. Yes. Mm. That was um, in honor of our late great brother, rest in peace, MD's. Mm. Uh, we celebrated his birthday a few, was that a couple weeks ago? Yeah. A week or two ago. Um, I performed, of course, alongside my husband, Dyson Knight, and um, MD's, myself, Dyson. We were also, we were all... Um, BTC ambassadors, brand mm -hmm. ambassadors a couple of years ago. So that's where I really got to yeah. know MDs. Before that, I was a fan. Oh. I was a fan girl of MDs. And then I, you know, now like I'm in this space as yeah. colleagues. And I was like, oh, that's MDs, you know, but MDs is a really cool kid. I devastated when he passed. So I was happy to do that performance. Um, I did a couple more virtual performances as well. Mm -hmm. So it was good to see, you know, that the sound engineering team and other exactly. artists and things like that. Exactly. So yeah. like I said, you stay busy, which is good. Yeah. How, did you, how would you say you stop yourself from probably, I don't know, going insane? Um, <laughs> well, I have a toddler, so you know, stopping that. Yeah. Um, uh, what do I, what did I do? I actually really took the time to embrace mm -hmm. the fact that everything kind of slowed down, you know, in a time in 2020, I probably would have ordinarily put my daughter in daycare and went full-fledged into work and I couldn't do that you know a lot of people weren't going to their nine to fives a lot of people lost their jobs unfortunately but there were some people who would work from home when you have a child that's really not mm -hmm. that really don't work but I tried to do that I would segment out certain hours to do some office work 
and then segment out hours to spend time with my husband, spend time mm -hmm. with my daughter, and then also do music. So we cooked. Dyson baked a lot of bread. You know, everyone <laughs> put on weight during the pandemic, and I would be like, do we it. We didn't have a choice. <laughs> do it, and you stop baking bread. But, I mean, I feel like... We yeah. did good. We did okay. You know, a lot of people either got closer mm -hmm. or they got further apart. And I'm happy that we got closer. I'm able to, to really cherish what happened in 2020. Exactly. Because I always wondered, honestly, how you handle it. Yeah. I'm just saying being a wife, being a mother, being an artist. Yeah. And now I see on social media you have something else that you're stirring well, up. Well, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you got the money. <laughs> Um, you know, everyone, well, not, let me not say everyone. Uh -huh. If you were smart enough in the pandemic, you pivoted. Mm -hmm. And um, not to take anything from anybody, but that if you had the ability to do that, kudos to you. And, yeah. and that's literally what I did. I think, um, you know, we're here talking about music. But one thing 2020 did show us, it's that music ain't that important to some people. Yeah. Um, it's, it's discretionary income. Mm -hmm. it's it's entertainment and a lot of people in the world don't really take entertainment that seriously yeah, so it them. really showed us especially as local artists where we stood mm -hmm. as it relates to global events happening so yeah. a lot of baby musicians musicians did not work so if the only thing you were doing was music in 2020 mm -hmm. unfortunately you really got abandoned in the stick so mm -hmm. i i'm one of those persons where i dabble in a lot of things mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't know that but i'm an entrepreneur like i have a trucking company oh I yeah okay. I, didn't even know that. Okay. <laughs> I have a trucking company i run a family business yeah um into real estate like i say you do it all <laughs> <laughs> into yeah. real estate and yeah. then i was like you know what the social media influencing thing really picked up for me yeah. i have never yeah. said oh I'm a social media influencer that's mm -hmm. not my thing I'm an artist I have a large platform because I'm an artist a lot of people know my name because I'm on stages and I perform yeah. um, but you know companies then saw the advantage to that okay when he has this platform she has a direct contact with target market exactly. we want her to help us sell Especially with our the stuff. pandemic. yes that every the perfect time the social media influencer is really really like they had a boom mm -hmm. including myself you know I was able to pick up a lot of new clients with that avenue of making money. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, I said, self, I'm helping all these people make money off my social media influencing. Yes. I need to make money for myself Hello. off That's my social happens. media influencing, mm -hmm. right? Um, so on top of selling music and on top of selling performances, mm -hmm. There's a lot of places that I go, Aaron. People be like, where'd you get your hair? Where'd you get your makeup? Where'd you get your nails? Where'd yeah. you get your clothes? And I would freely tell people. Mm -hmm. I would freely tag you give know, them the tips. I give them, yeah, I got it there. I'm not that person who's going to be yeah. like, I'm not going to tell you where I got my clothes. I, yeah. That's just not me. So I say, you know what, let me just, let me, let me sell these clothes. So <laughs> shameless plug, <laughs> Shop W242 is going to be launching very soon. Y'all stay tuned for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. So I checked out, I think, a few of your posts. And I'm like, okay. Yes. And I always liked your style, especially when like you're performing on yes. stage and everything. So I'm like, yeah. all right, I'm looking forward to it. And you I know, I the jeans you're wearing, by the way, so... Thank Hopefully you. they're on sale soon. <laughs> so, okay. Sale These right are now. not from my collection, but I have similar ones. You have similar? Okay. Yes, I have similar ones. But these are from a great boutique here in NASA. Mm -hmm. I can let you know what it is off Please. camera. Yes. Please. <laughs> yes, but I have some similar ones. Um, I got these for a performance. But that's how I am. Mm -hmm. Like, I I'll, I had, I saw there was a need, for me at least, yeah. as an artist. A lot of stores here in the country, they have cute clothes. They mm -hmm. have the Mother's Day clothes. Yes. The Not a lot of edgy pieces for mm -hmm. stage, you know? So I want to be edgy on stage. I want to be a fashionista. I don't yeah. always want to get something custom made. Like, I will get custom made pieces for big stages. Yeah. But, you know, if I'm doing something a little bit more low-key, I want to be edgy. I want to mm -hmm. be... A, that celebrity look exactly and that doesn't come from wearing like a brunch dress no, you know so no, i'd be like you know what i agree yeah i think so, i have the same problem right? yes no most artists and entertainers mm -hmm. you're gonna have that problem so what happens we end up um buying a bunch of things online yeah. and then we wear them once because they're photographed yeah. right so I was like, you know what? I can take care of this. Yeah. I got have a straight. Don't so you have always be good. I got have a straight. You always know something <laughs> new. Yeah. Something yes. Something you like what you're looking yes. for. Yes. Yes. All right. So I know you have many hits, like in front of you, one song, walk out, bang, bang. Recently, I saw you worked on the Tamarind Rhythm. Yes. Last okay. one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Last one. That is the the most recent um, song that I did, the Tamarind Rhythm, a first for my camp. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm working with the exact same team yeah. that I worked with since the first Jams TV interview. Oh. Freddie Got Sticks, Leonardo Sniper Rogers, Anwar McDonald, and Dyson Knight. 
Hello. And so, yeah, that check out my husband on the team. Email. He wasn't a <laughs> husband then, but he's that. <laughs> so just sometimes you have, have to so secure, <laughs> you have to secure your assets, you know, if you can do that. <laughs> But it's good that you both can win together. That's oh, really listen. Um, so when you think about the Tamron Rhythm, so I'm also a songwriter. Mm -hmm. There are four songs on that, and I'm involved in three. Mm -hmm. I sang on one, and I wrote Open the Gate, mm -hmm. that is performed by Elsha, and I also co-wrote Give Me the Road, that is performed mm -hmm. by Dyson, and I've arranged three of the four songs as yeah. well, so I'm also a vocal arranger. So my hand's all up in that, even with yeah. these awards and, and stuff like that. If I'm nominated, I'm like, okay, great. If Patrice is nominated, I'm like, okay, great. Yeah. If Dyson is nominated, I'm like, okay, great. Yeah. I win either way, exactly. you know? So, yeah. I always love your spirit. I always love it. <laughs> so, like, but, but, um, but, like, what are you working on now? Like, upcoming music do you have? So, mm -hmm. so I have two um, singles that are in the pipeline just waiting for the gun, the trigger, to say when that's coming out. But I've actually decided I'm going to work on an album for the very Ooh. first time. Yes, it's wow. my very first the album. album. As Wendy 242. Yeah, I've had um, two EPs, Risky Business and Lunar, and then I've just been putting out singles, yeah. right? But yeah, an album is coming. time for an album. It's time for an album. Oh, I'm wow. Very excited. Very excited about So you thought this. about any names? Or no get, names yet. We don't yet. get all the details. No names yet, but it's definitely going to be a Caribbean pop album. I'm mm -hmm. um, going to have all of the different, like, it's going to be some reggae. There's going to be some soca. There's going to be junk canoe. There's going to be calypso. It's going to definitely have my pop vocals. Um, yeah. I'm very excited about this. Very oh. Well, I'm excited for I'm saying an album at this. It's yes. really good. So, yes. what about like music videos? Like, have you shot any? Um, COVID, the last COVID, video I shot was video. for um, last one. Mm -hmm. So, I shot some visuals for that in carnival costumes. I rocked some Enigma costumes. Some of the yes, yes, I remember the launch. <laughs> um, so that you can find that on my YouTube channel, uh -huh. youtube.com forward slash Wendy242. Um, but I still, I still push in walk out hard. Yes. My walk out music video. I want y'all to go should. and check that out. It's beautiful, um, and the song is lit. I already saw the video. Man, the video is lit. I want everyone to see it. Yes, I need to be. Everyone will see I'm it like, twice. I saw the video. They need to see the video. Yes, <laughs> y'all need to see the video. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I really want to ask you this because um, I'm just saying, you're like, like I said, you do it all, but I really want to know how do you stay fit while wow, just have all this going on? Well, I work out. <laughs> Like how often? Okay, I'm so sure you have a full schedule. Before before I had my daughter, mm -hmm. I had a way more time, right? So yeah. my time was my own. Even even though I was married, mm -hmm. my time was still my own. So mm -hmm. I was able to go to my nine to five, do all my entrepreneurial stuff, and mm -hmm. still go to the gym. So during the pandemic, of course, the gyms were closed, and then before that, I was in postpartum, so I didn't get to go as much yeah. as I could. So the key is to watch what you eat. Yeah, the key is I wouldn't say counting calories, but you definitely want to have. You Less, have to kind of have to. yeah, you have to burn more calories than you consume. So, if there's a week, for example, last week I did not get to go to the gym at all, mm -hmm. so that means in this week that I'm not going to the gym, I know I have to be super strict about what I put in my body, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, just eat good. And how many times, like, how many times a week do you try to go to the gym? I would like to get to the gym three times a week, it don't happen, it ain't happening, it ain't happening yet. But God ain't finished with me, but you've been keeping it together. <laughs> I've, been, I've been, what's up? But <laughs> We ain't getting your yeah. business. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so how would you keep it together? Yeah, You're fine. That's all that matters. Woman, you know, all you have to do is burn some calories. It's <laughs> really all you have to do. Problem. <laughs> 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 Listen, yes, yeah, so I want to ask you too, though. So, like, I'm just saying for every other like artist, whether local, international, whatever it is, like, just like positive advice you probably would give them. Yeah. Seeing that you know, going through COVID nineteen, like, you stay busy. And you have a lot going on, but I know some people really had a hard time. Yeah. Them. And the, to the people that had a hard time, give yourself grace. Like you didn't, there's, there was nothing about 2020, especially as Bahamians, you know, because we came off of Hurricane Dorian. Yeah. There's nothing that says that you had to be successful in everything. Yeah. Give yourself grace. If you were in depression, that's fine. Mm -hmm. People get depressed. You know, get up, pick yourself up. And go back at it. If you need to rest some more, if you need yeah. to pivot, if you need to rethink, it's fine. Give yourself grace. Um, I would say for the artists out there, you know, it's it's okay to be trying to decide whether or not you're going to pursue artistry in this time because yeah. the country is still not 100% open, and music is a business. And if mm -hmm. you're not seeing where you're making money from that business because of the climate, then yeah. it's okay to just take a break. It's okay to just go and be creative in your bubble. It's okay. 
give yourself grace. That's literally what I would say. Give yeah. yourself grace. Take some time. With Take yourself. some time. Don't rush it. Don't rush. Don't watch what don't nobody watch else is doing. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah. Everyone has their own portion. Exactly. And you can only pull from that portion. And they don't focus on social media because you know everyone only posts the success. Yeah, yo, no, no. Social media should be like your highlight reel. That's yeah. not real life. That's your highlight reel. It's when really I not. finish <laughs> taking pictures and they take this wig off, you've seen me. Uh, you, yes. you've seen you've me. You've seen me too. Aaron has you've seen me in the store. <laughs> Looking real tall. When I said, oh, flip. It don't, it don't look like, see me like this. Why no. <laughs> should see me like this? But you're so gorgeous either way. Oh, so, thank yeah. you. And, and mind you, I don't care. I really don't care yeah. what, like, because I know who I am. I, I know who I am in that moment. Mm -hmm. I know I'm a busy person, and every day I'm not going to put on makeup. Every exactly. day I'm not going to put my wig on. It's okay. It's real life. It's real it's not, life. It's not Instagram. It's, it's real, real life. life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just saw recently, like, just before, um, you know, Head on that. I just saw recently you performed over in Bimini. Yes. You had your feet laid up. You was in the pool. Yes. Okay, how was it? That was amazing. Yeah. I've not been to Bimini for about seven years. And of mm -hmm. course, when I went, I didn't go to the resort. And mm -hmm. then I actually, right when I was born, mm -hmm. I lived in Bimini for about two years. Oh, you lived in Bimini? Yes. I mean, I don't remember it. I was a baby. Yeah. But okay. he actually, when I performed, there was a gentleman who remembered me as a baby. Oh, wow. Who works with my dad. He was like, yeah, I was rolling out of work in a computer room. He's a little baby. I was like, well, let Mr. Rowe. They remind you. <laughs> okay. Um, but it was great. I'm very happy that they invited me. It was yeah. Resource World Bimini. Um, the tourists and the locals had a great time. And of course, I, I had a little break. You exactly. know, I didn't have my baby well there. Deserved. It was, oh, and the hotel was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And they put me up really good because my, my room was like right by the pool. It was like a swim up into the room. So, I, girl, yes. Your room was by the pool. Yeah, they didn't give y'all that one you say. <laughs> I didn't even get to go. I wish I would. You didn't go? I wasn't able to go. Oh, no. It's unfortunate. So right now, I was like, I didn't want to ask you how Bimini was, actually. You didn't even want to answer. No, I didn't even want to watch you enjoy Bimini. It was so nice. Yeah. But you I'm missed the time. I'm happy you enjoyed it. You missed the time. It's good. But no, I'm pretty sure you deserved it. Seeing that everything that's been going on, sometimes yeah. you can use that nice... Quick vacation. Break, yes. And I still want to go back with my husband and my daughter because oh. the only thing I was thinking of, oh my God, right? Sandara would love the fact that you open the door and go in the pool. I yeah. literally was thinking that. So that's how it is even when you're away from your family. It's like, yeah, you still think about your mind that. It's on 24-7. Absolutely. She wasn't Absolutely. being selfish during the trip. Well, I mean, I did still. Love it. <laughs> um, I enjoyed it. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, that's good. So, at least we know you have an album on the way. Yes. You didn't get the full details on the name, I'm on a song. So, you're going to have on it? Are you going to have on it? No? Okay. <laughs> Not quite. Not yet. All right. Anything else you want to tell the people? Um, I just want you guys to follow me on my socials. First of all, I have to say thank you to 100 Jams for always, always, always supporting Wendy Music. Mm -hmm. You know, people will send me videos of hearing my song on the radio, and I'd be like, which station was that? They'd be like, 100 Jams. I'm like, yeah. So Hello. thank you so much, 100 <laughs> Jams, for, for, for just supporting the music, playing the music, you know, as the top station in the country. I am happy and blessed and honored to be able to walk in the doors, be able to sit with Aaron, and um, be able to meet with all the DJs and things like that. So thank you. And guys, please go and follow my socials at Wendy242. That's Wendy with an I on Instagram, on Facebook, and on my YouTube. And go to my website, whatyouknowaboutit.com. Whatyouknowaboutit.com. I've been singing that for years now. Y'all can't forget it. Exactly. <laughs> I'm ready to pick me up some edgy pieces. I'm just saying. I'm ready for it. I'm really ready yes. for it. I got to thank you, Wendy, for joining us here at Jams TV. We're definitely back and better. And of course, you know, I'm just ready to hear this album. I'm ready to just see you perform more, you yeah. know, to see more on the outside. Yes. Yeah, Virtual is cool, but I'm ready to see you outside. Yeah. Thank you.